Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Joining us today for another art installation into another freshly spruced up hotel. Now, if you've seen the project video of The Dreamer by Jamie Hayon and the Hayon Studio, that's the chicken man to all of us here. Well, here we have an even more colourful piece of sculpture for up north here in the UK in Liverpool. We all live in a yellow submarine immediately springs to mind whenever you associate any sort of submarine with Liverpool, but here we're working with Radisson, a hotel chain for their new Liverpool hotel Radisson Red. As the title may suggest, you know there's going to be a bit of a twist on this one. A subtle nod to the Liverpool band, but with the boldness of the hotel chain title colour, we've now been sent some reference images of a gloss red submarine, and when a final decision is made on the sizes, well, we're off. The original intention for the Dreamer sculpture was to have a polystyrene carved form that we simply blanket coat with glass fibre and work up to a good finish. Firstly, there isn't really a simply, working up from a blanket coat takes a very long time, particularly to achieve a car body gloss. With the Dreamer, there were frankly too many ins and outs and a little too much detail to be refined, so instead we created a mould and then made a cast. With the submarine here, with a far more simplistic shape, we're showing you the process behind the blanket coat route. Less cost in terms of materials, as we're now not creating a mould, but arguably more manpower needed, so there's often a fine line between which route we take, especially if it's only a single model that's going to be made. Kev and Jess are hot wire cutting the bulk shape from polystyrene, and Jess is then going to refine the form using wire brushes. When we're happy with the overall shape, we'll then sand the entire form down to a smoother finish, before protecting this for the glass fibre and resin going on the top. As you can see from the other projects in the background, we very rarely take on only one thing at a time here at the studio. We need to accommodate not just how long something will take with the team that we have, but the curing times of the materials, any problems that may arise, and also fitting a project in with everything else that we currently have on. We never want to promise something in the timeline that we can't deliver, and fingers crossed so far we've never let anyone down in that respect. For some of the elements that have to be a little more detailed, or at least a little more uniform in shape, we're creating wooden patterns, and we're then taking a silicon rubber mould to replicate as identical casts in plastic. Oh yeah, you know what time it is. The mysterious shine, the why is it already sticky, of the secretly sourced sticky back tinfoil. As always, drop us a little email if you fancy giving this a try. This protects the polystyrene from the polyester resin going on the top, and it's almost a shame that the submarine isn't finished in the silver. sticky back foil. It's a shame we're part of the magic circle, you know. I mean, if we told you where we'd get it from, we'd have to kill you. I mean, I don't make the rules. It's just fact. You can see from this clip that an exceptionally neat job has been done on the periscopes, and this is now what we have to achieve on the rest of the sculpture. Don't be fooled though, it's a lot of working up. We're first going on with a sturdy build-up of glass fibre, as for a long-term installation, we want this to be really durable. We try and leave the glass fibre as neat as possible, and when this is cured, we go over the entire form with a resin flow coat. This floods the surface to help lose that fibrous matte texture, and then it's a case of sanding, going over with car body fillers and repeating the process, until we achieve a finish that we're happy with. And I'm telling you, if you guys came for dusty work today, you've come to the right place. Welcome.
the concept images that we were sent at the start of the project show a riveted panelled metallic base. This is going to be fabricated by another company who are presumably managing the installation on site, whereby the submarine is going to be mounted onto the base via a vertical steel box section. As our sculpture is required to be gloss smooth and a completely sealed unit, this doesn't really lend itself very well to having a trapdoor created. With this in mind, we're going to be permanently installing the box section into our part of the job, and the panelled base can much more easily have a disguisable trapdoor installed for interior access and for their team to fix everything together on site. In order to see what sort of finish we've already achieved, we periodically go over the sculpture with a grey primer, and this helps highlight areas that still require more attention. And you know what? I'm just going to leave this running for a while, because there's something strangely therapeutic about it. work for the submarine. It drops down 300 mil to a line here. It's made out of miles still. Weighs about 26 kilos, something like that. Six mil thick, drilled holes here and chamfered them. So when we put the, the submarine on top, it gets caught all around the clock, so it can't slide out. Uh, but it's a big, big lump. Metal work goes around the sides. And houses it down there, probably put a bolt in there to stop the whole thing from lifting. Although I don't think anyone could lift it because it's going to be about 100 kilos all connected together. So there's a cap on the top, so when we squidge it down, it all pushes around and nestles in quite tight. Uh, substantial lump all together, and that's what goes inside the submarine. Times, Kevin, have we gone over this now? So this is the third time we've done a primer over it. Then we kind of sand it back, and it allows us to see some of the higher spots. If you look around here, you can kind of see where it goes through some of the layers where we sand it down. But if we can get it like this, we can then sand it down further and further, and then we can feel that it's a lot smoother. So the different colours there, the different layers of primer that we've gone on with. So that's nearly there good and smooth especially for blanket coat this is like exceptionally smooth this is the kind of texture we get when it comes out of the mold yeah that's good and we've got the pole in the bottom now that's nice yeah all the construction is pretty much done yeah just on the final tidy up and then it could be primed a final time and sprayed its final color As ever, for a higher end finish, and something that's hopefully intended to be used for quite a while, we're using 2K car body paints. Once we've gone over with a final prime layer and a bold red top coat, this is going to be buffed using a cutting compound to really work up a gloss shine. 
The artwork is then going to be sealed with a lacquer, once again in a gloss, to really make it pop. In anticipation for whatever artwork the client's team have in mind for the box section, we're giving the metalwork a bit of protection with a red oxide. Now that everything's all finished here in the studio, well, we'd better get this baby wrapped up and ready to go. This is heading up to Liverpool's Radisson Red Hotel, and I'm telling you, this place is a spectacle and has truly lived up to its name, as this submarine is but one of many red-themed pieces of artwork splashed throughout the building. See what I did there? Submarine, splash, water. We'd like to thank our clients from Radisson for bringing this project to us, and we look forward to any sculptural ventures in the future. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram via the links below, and for all of our true diehard fans out there, you can now become a patron of our studio. Many thanks to all of our existing patrons, your support really does mean a lot. All of our supporter contributions go towards the creation of these videos, so if you enjoy our content, you know what to do. Becoming one of our credited patrons means you'll be featured at the end of our upcoming YouTube projects like these guys here, so visit the Patreon link with this video to show your support. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.